but there was a summer collection that they did that I didn't get the opportunity to shop, which was called the Le Soleil collection. I loved so many dresses from this collection. So before the summer ends, I wanted to go in store and try out some of these dresses to see if I still <laughs> if I still want to pick one up. Visited the London Stratford store. So the first dress that I tried was this orange dress, which my expectations of this dress were actually pretty high. Of of everything, actually, it was pretty high, just because I love this collection. And I love the way that they styled the models and stuff like that. I think they all looked so cute. Um, I tried this on in size large. I probably could have, I probably should have tried it on in a medium. It is a bit big around the bust, so the bust wasn't really giving what I had hoped. And it is quite sheer. It's actually more sheer than I expected. So if you are considering picking up this dress then do bear that in mind my you can't really tell in this um video my underwear was pretty visible especially from the back and i was wearing black underwear so that is something to consider it is something i i i didn't expect from it the length of it was really nice i don't know it was just a bit disappointing for me i'm not sure why i'm not sure if it was the fit i have recently seen um a celebrity in this dress I think it's Thames. If I can find it, I'll put up a picture of her. And she looks so, so nice in this. But I think it might it might be the fit. I do really like the back of it, though. It does have, like, a core setting detail up the back and a split. So it is pretty comfortable to move around in. And it, it looks cute. I actually prefer it more from the back than I do from the front, which I wasn't expecting because I do actually enjoy the, the lace detailing. It's kind of giving lingerie without it being too much. I think in the right size, I might give this dress maybe a seven or an eight. So the next dress I tried, I also had pretty high expectations for because I do really enjoy a House of CB corset. At this point, I have so many. <laughs> and I felt like that the corset incorporated into the dress, I felt like it was gonna be perfect. It was gonna be ideal. But this one again was also, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't as good as I had hoped. So I also tried this on in large. I think I should have probably tried the medium. There are sales assistants available to help and they do offer you shoes to try on with your dress. They didn't offer me shoes, but it might be because I'm quite tall. Maybe they presumed that I, I didn't want a pair. I, I could have always asked. It wasn't a big deal for me. I also needed help to get into all of these dresses. All the, dr all the zips for these dresses are at the back. So when I peeked my head outside to kind of get assistance they were all busy helping other other ladies put get their dresses on so I thought you know it's no big deal I kind of get an idea of whether I like it or not I really really love the hot pink color and the lace detailing at the top I actually thought that the lace detailing was just an addition but in fact it is actually like a um a lace bralette underneath and then the ruching kind of just fits over the top and you can kind of move it around so that was a surprise. I you don't necessarily need to put on a bra with this. I'd probably wear it with a with a, a nude or skin colored strapless bra. But if you weren't, then I think you'd be fine with with nipple covers. It is pretty sheer even through the lace. So I think you would be at risk of giving a bit of nip if you didn't do that. But I do really enjoy the corsetting detail across the body. I think it's really nice. They have it on this dress and the ombre dress that I tried on too, that you can kind of see the ribbon of the corset through the through the top of it. I think that looks really nice. I did also enjoy the length and it does have a split up the back. So it felt super comfortable. I usually find with House of CB dresses that they really do kind of complement my shape quite well. And I wasn't really... I wasn't really getting too much of that from some of the dresses that I tried on, but I think in a medium it would have been a it would have been better. Again, with this one, I think I'd probably rate it like a seven, seven or eight in a good fit. But I do really love the color. So the next dress I have is this ombre dress, and my hopes were highest for this ombre dress just because for some reason it reminds me of a mermaid the colorway of it and I really do enjoy like the burnt orangey color that's at the bottom and the way that it falls into the pink it does also have that kind of mesh over the corsetry detailing which I think is really pretty again I think it's a bit too big especially at the bust I think a bit of of cleavage 
with most of these dresses would probably have looked a bit better. So I think a medium would have been more complimentary, I think. It is also quite see-through, which I, again, was not really expecting. It's really hard to see how sheer it is on video or in pictures, but my underwear was very, vis very visible, actually. Um, in most of these dresses and so I think they are perfect for holiday which I guess is what the collection is about right holiday summer I think it's perfect for that but definitely because of the sheerness would not be great for more formal events for me um, but I did really enjoy the ruching I felt as though it was quite complimentary quite flattering I in again enjoyed the corsetry detail being able to see the corsetry detail I thought was quite nice it was comfortable I just felt as though I needed it I needed a size down and I needed a, a girdle I think to kind of smooth my stomach so next I wanted to try a short dress because from this collection most of the things I liked were kind of mid axi maxi maxi length but I thought I'd try out a mini dress too and I saw this pink dress with the flower detail and usually this is probably not a dress that I'd probably lean towards just because of all of the all of the detailing on it I wasn't sure if it was too much um, but I thought I'd try it out. It, my expectations of this dress weren't super high because I felt as though maybe it would be a bit too short. But I thought I'd give it a try anyway and share it with you guys. So I really enjoyed the flower detail at the top. I think it's so pretty. And it is actually the sheerest of the four. So it's definitely a dress that I think is more for beach. If you're going to lunch at the beach, if you're by the sea... I think it would it's even a nice dress with a nice sandal a strappy sandal or something like that i think it would look really nice with that um i enjoyed the cow neck and house of cb do do pretty well with quite ethereal feminine dresses so i think that this dress definitely fits in that category i haven't actually seen anybody else ever in this dress maybe it's not one that people are super drawn to but i think if it is one that you are considering then it is worth giving it a try i am quite tall i'm six foot tall and it wasn't too short on me i didn't feel uncomfortable i just i just <laughs> i just felt like everybody could see everything so um definitely a dress i think is best worn maybe even over a over a bikini or you know at the pool maybe if you're going to the beach be the beach bar or the beach restaurant or something like that then i think that this is the this dress is best fitted for that so overall my store experience was pretty pretty good actually well they had quite a few styles in stock and i was able to try on quite a few different dresses which is always fun it was a bit hot but we are experiencing a heat wave here in london so that's absolutely not their fault as soon as they have a collection that i really enjoy i will be back in their most recent collection they do have a short what looks to me like more of a maid's dress which i quite enjoy i'll put a picture of it here but outside of that there aren't any that i super love so hopefully there will be something coming up soon do make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you are interested in in seeing more videos like this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye, -bye.